share some of the things that um, you should bring or shouldn't bring to camp this summer. Um, so to start with, I'm Rue. This is going to be my seventh summer at camp. So first things first, it's the suitcase or backpack debate. Um, it's totally up to you. There's no requirement either way. Personally, I have a, uh, one of those bags that's like a suitcase on wheels, but it opens up, which is really awesome because you've got different compartments. But again, it's completely personal and, and down to you what your, what your preference is. I'm not going to go into the itty bitty details. Um, just bring what you think you should wear. I would say bring more socks and more shorts than you think you need, because those are always things that I um, wish I had more of. You're going to want some appropriate footwear. Um, so I usually bring something like this, Nike sneakers, super comfy. Um, I don't really mind if they get trashed because they're quite old. Um, and usually I also bring like a pair of Vans um, and a pair of sandals. A vital item is a waterproof jacket. Um, when it rains at camp, it really rains. You're going to want something that um, will keep you keep you nice and dry. Um, so I definitely recommend investing in like a, a pretty good a pretty good raincoat. And finally, on the sort of clothes um, list is swimwear. Girls, you need to wear a one piece. Boys, um, swimming trunks. <laughs> Firstly, water bottle, a flashlight, or a head torch. So yeah, headlamps are great actually because you, it means you can like rustle around in your suitcase um, with, the, with your hands, with your hands free. Another vital item is a watch. Uh, when you're teaching your classes um, every day, the different activity periods, you're going to need to know when your kids should arrive by and when you need to send them on. So a watch is like a hundred percent must-have. Sunglasses. Don't forget them. You'll need them. A camera. It's super fun to bring like a disposable film camera and then develop the photos at the end of the summer. Um, or if you have a digital camera, bring that. I definitely recommend it because you're going to want um, some photos to remember your awesome summer. Plug adapters. Um, so America uses the flat, these ones. Something else in the way of charging is a portable charger. Okay, so quite a random one that someone's reminded me of today is a laundry bag. Really useful so you don't have to put all your clothes in a plastic bag or a bin liner and lug that um, to the laundry when you go on day off. Um, so just something like this, small little mesh bag, super handy. So the next thing you're going to need to bring is a towel, um, or two, or however many you're going to need. Toiletries, all your usual things. Um, remember that you can buy pretty much everything when you get there. You don't need to bring like two months worth of, of shampoo and body wash and all that. Also don't forget about any medications you need, um, contact lenses, solution, um, all those random things. Okay, so as a couple of last little extra um, things, I would recommend bringing a book or some games, a pack of cards, um, some friendship bracelet string, something like that that you can do with your campers during rest hour. Um, and I'd also say um, to go along with rest hour, bring some paper and some envelopes um, that you can, so you can write letters home, notebook and pen. Um, these will come in handy during staff training um, or on the plane when you when you've got an idea for an activity and you want to write it down or as a diary, anything like that. Money. I'd recommend having um, some dollars in cash um, for your journey from the airport to camp. Or if you've got one of those global cash cards that you can withdraw money, um, that's cool too. Okay, so last but by no means least is your passport and your paperwork. Um, so you need your passport, obviously, with your visa um, and your DS2019 form, so that's the bit of paper that's been with your passport this whole time. You'll also need um, your travel to camp instructions, and I would recommend printing off your camp contract and having the camp um, contact details to hand. Okay, so I think that's it. Returners, if you can think of anything else that I've missed, um, just drop it in the comments, and I hope you all have the best summer ever.